Residents in China's southwestern megacity of Chongqing have been puzzled by this strange sight this week. These images of the Yangtze River, the longest in China, have been surfacing since Wednesday. This stretch of the river around Chongqing looks like it's been dyed blood red. Brisbane was blanketed in thick fog for several hours this morning. The whiteout spanned most of the state's coastline stretching from the border as far north as the tropics. This was Brisbane at sunrise. The skyline is almost completely covered. An Australian filmmaker has captured what's being described as a fire tornado on camera. The extremely rare phenomenon occurred in the outback near Alice Springs. It's a twister which has sent even weather experts spinning. Flames spiralling 30 metres high, generating noise like a fighter jet. An area of Arctic sea ice the size of Canada and Alaska combined has been lost. That's according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. An animation released by the U.S. agency shows the daily average sea ice between 1979 and 2012. A man is claiming that he's filmed video of UFOs above his Melbourne home. He says he saw the fast-moving, colourful object flying in the sky last Tuesday night and it was briefly joined by a second object. And I've got to affirm that this object was not stationary, so it was no planet or um, star or anything like that. It behaved in no manner the, of an aircraft that I've ever seen here on Earth. Now, people across the UK have reported seeing bright objects in the sky last night, thought to be a meteor shower. There were sightings in Northern Ireland, parts of central Scotland, the Midlands and East Anglia as well. And you can see there's several there moving slowly along the sky. Britain has been hit by its worst September storms in 30 years after weeks of rain fell in just a few hours. Floodwaters swept through towns and villages, forcing hundreds of people from their homes. The downpour turned roads into rivers, closed rail lines and left farmland underwater. Trees have been uprooted and schools shut. Rough seas whipped up foam, turning the water into whitewash that swamped a fishing village in Scotland. Dozens of flood warnings are in place. Homes, businesses, schools and farmland underwater after the heaviest rainfall in Nigeria for 40 years. 100,000 people alone have been displaced here in Yola. After months of drought, much of southern Spain is now underwater. Heavy rains cause scenes of devastation, with rivers bursting their banks, leading to widespread flash flooding across huge areas of Andalusia and Murcia. Spain's weather agency said that up to 245 litres, 65 gallons of water per square metre, fell on Friday morning alone. A comet is coming, a big and brilliant comet arriving in November 2013. It could potentially be 15 times brighter than the moon and visible in broad daylight over the U.S. Right now at four, a mystery boom in an Ocean County community. Residents say it sounds and feels like an explosion, and it's not the first time they felt it. And authorities, they don't know what it is. The latest mysterious booming sound happened last night in Manchester Township, which is near Tom's River. Residents say it was so powerful, it shook windows there in some homes. Even police are mystified. Police are trying to get to the bottom of this, but so far, they don't have any answers. Folks who live here say their houses are being rattled and so are their nerves.
Adelaide has experienced a once-in-a-century October snowfall. Residents in the hills, mid-north and Flinders Ranges waking to a surprising white spring. Ten centimetres deep in some areas, the shock cold snap just days after unusually hot temperatures as snow fell in Belair, Stirling and Crafers. A frosty blast has wrapped the state in a deep freeze. Yes, it is spring. The unseasonal white has closed out major roads, stranding hundreds of shivering motorists in the snow. A bitter blizzard in the middle of spring, just an hour out of Sydney. The snow mesmerising, but the roads were menacing. Invisible to drivers, black ice made motorists vulnerable. Authorities with no choice but to close the busy Great Western Highway in both directions. Frosty tracks also saw trains on the Blue Mountains line suspended. Two degrees in Katoomba, minus one in Canberra and Glen Innes, with as much as 20 centimetres falling near Mittagong. It's October, for heaven's sake. We should be swimming, <laughs> not building snowmen. Its source is a mystery, and it's causing some people sleepless nights in the capital. Most people have rung in in the, in the middle of the night, and they describe it as a low-pitched um, hum that basically keeps them awake. Noise control officers dispatched by the City Council have failed to find the source. a loud noise was heard across northwest Louisiana late last night. We're getting reports that a possible meteorite may have hit the ground. Trying to get a handle on this. What in the heck's happening over there at Webster Parish? Sheriff Gary Sexton tells us the exact location not known, but something happened between Minden and Dixie Inn. Fire, ground shaking, you name it, it happened. Tons of Facebook posts rolling in. That's right, Doug. We've had thousands of reports of an explosion that shook the ground miles from Webster Parish all the way to East Texas at about 11.30 Monday night. We talked to Gary Sexton, the sheriff here, who says that, quote, definitely had something happen. Sexton confirmed that all the explosion manufacturing facilities and natural gas facilities in Webster Parish are ruled out as a cause. Sheriff Sexton says it is possible a meteorite hit the ground, and we have confirmed with NASA that there is a meteor shower happening above us right now. And there's reports of, reports of flashing lights and sparks in the sky right when the boom happened. Right now, scientists are working to figure out what that big ball of fire was that soared over Northern California tonight, causing a loud boom. Folks were in awe, some of them in panic. It was seen from Monterey to Mendocino and east to Sacramento. Folks walking or driving around were amazed as the streaking fireballs and loud booms were observed over the skies of Northern California. I looked over, saw like a crescent-shaped object, like reddish-orange in color. But as it went away, it started kind of getting larger, just kind of expanding. I can't really describe exactly what I seen, but it was something uh, abnormal. I'm not sure if it was a meteor or not, because a meteor drops right out of the sky. This thing was going sideways across the sky. So uh, to say it was a meteor, I can't, I, I, I don't believe that.
Normally quiet South Jersey towns like Vintner City, where I am now, had that quiet shattered by a big boom and the ground shaking beneath the feet of several people that live here. The big question, what on earth was it? Neighbors came out of their houses, she said. We all felt two separate shakes. And Maggie wrote, quote, we heard it here in Upper Township, but you can kind of feel it too in your chest. At 8.30 in the morning, while many were crowded in the vegetable market, the ground suddenly opened up, leaving a hole over 150 feet wide and almost 20 feet deep. According to witnesses, a tricycle with its driver and several pedestrians fell in. Rescue crews struggled to pull out survivors, even as gushing water hampered their efforts. In 10 minutes, four were pulled from the wreckage, including a child, but an hour later, a female resident was discovered she had not survived. Hey, an object spotted in the sky by several people across Pike County last week has still not been identified. One local astronomer captured these pictures and video through his telescope. Sightings of the object have been reported in Kentucky, Virginia, Tennessee. It has yet to be identified, though. Tonight, we have an explanation for some strange light spotted in St. Clair County that some thought was a UFO. Here are some photos of those lights. Sheriff's deputies tell us they were called to Floraville and Paderborn Road in Millstadt last night. A caller reported a suspicious light in the sky there. The deputy who investigated tells us the lights were nothing but a satellite in the sky. Now to the latest out of Assumption Parish, where officials say a sharp tremor has been reported. They say the United States Geological Survey monitors recorded the tremor just after nine last night. Llevaba varios días tranquilos hasta ayer por la tarde cuando registró una fuerte exhalación. Pero tras la exhalación se registró algo que no sé qué sea, no sé cómo explicarlo. Vamos a verlo, vamos a verlo juntos. Miren lo que cae en el en el cráter. Esta es la que An earthquake centered in Niagara County woke up some residents shortly after 12.30 a.m. The U.S. Geological Survey says the quake centered near Olcott. Now this quake left the Niagara County Sheriff's Office flooded with calls overnight, with many residents reporting hearing some type of explosion or even a loud boom, including residents in the town of New Vane. There's been mass panic throughout Hawaii this evening as people evacuated coastal areas after warnings a tsunami was on its way. A tsunami alert has been issued for Hawaii after a powerful earthquake hit British Columbia on the other side of the Pacific. The U.S. Geological Survey reported its magnitude as 7.7 .7 and at a depth of 10 kilometers. The magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake hit the western Canadian coast of Queen, the Queen Charlotte Island. America's east coast is bracing itself for one of the biggest storms in history barreling towards New York. Hundreds of thousands of people have been evacuated from low-lying parts of Manhattan and powerful winds will strike up to nine states. New York's entire transport system has been shut down and hundreds of thousands of residents have been ordered to leave their homes. Sandy's already killed at least 30 people in its march across the Caribbean. Seen from space, this storm is monster-sized. Clouds stretch 2,000 miles. Tropical storm force winds extend more than 500 miles. Right now, this storm looks like it's going to be headed for millions of people. It's going to be a transitioning system, meaning that perfect storm-type scenario. A tropical storm that transitions into an extra-tropical storm because a cold front, a very powerful Arctic cold front, is going to interact with the system and draw it in towards the northeast. A very rare meteorological situation. So uh, this could be historic, folks, and this could cause extensive, catastrophic damage. I'm not just standing here making this stuff up. I want people to really pay attention to this because, again, this could be worst-case scenario. We're in the unusual track that it's going to be taking, that is coming in from the east across the Jersey coast, it's a once-in-a-lifetime storm.